Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Gavin Newsom started his second term as California's governor today. His inauguration included a procession with a walk from Sacramento's Tower Bridge to the Capitol building. Today's date was picked specifically because it marks two years since the violent insurrection at the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. A Sacramento man has been arrested accused of stabbing his brother. Police say it happened at the Sky River Casino. While investigating, police say they found out the two men arrived in the same car and never entered the casino. After an argument broke out, one of the brothers allegedly stabbed the other. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office has issued an update in the shooting death that happened in Rancho Cordova back in August of last year. They've released new video of the suspect leaving the scene, and it shows a male they say is between 17 and 20 years old. Sacramento Unified School District says masking will not be required for students and teachers when they come back from break next week. But the district is telling families to use at-home tests that were given out before winter break started last month. PG&E says it found a damaged part of the nuclear power plant at Diablo Canyon during a routine inspection in October. A report shows it didn't report the problem until December. A part of the power plant's coolant system is what's damaged. PG&E hasn't given any more details about how bad the damage is. The EPA is moving to set tougher standards for the quality of air that comes out of cars and smokestacks. A new proposal is looking to set the maximum number of fine particles, better known as soot, to 9 or 10 micrograms for a cubic meter of air. It's currently at 12. The president held a ceremony tonight to remember the lives of those who died while defending the U.S. Capitol building on January 6. He also gave out a number of President Citizens medals to some of the day's heroes. Nearly 1,000 people have been arrested in connection to the Capitol riots. After being dormant for about three weeks, one of Hawaii's largest volcanoes has started erupting again. Kilauea had been continuously erupting since September 2021. So far, no homes are in danger by the eruption. The stunning recovery for Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin continues. The 24-year-old is now breathing on his own and was able to FaceTime the team earlier today, telling his teammates that he loves them. And the lottery fever has returned. The Mega Millions is now back up to close to $1 billion. Many people crowding gas stations and convenience stores to buy just one more ticket before tonight's drive. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.